evening, we invited a scholar from the University of Edinburgh, uh, Dina Iordanova, Iordanova. Iordanova, Dina, and Dina came and I introduced her to Edja, or Edja to Dina, and Dina introduced her to Jim. <coughs> And the rest is history. So it, um, it's a real thrill <coughs> and an honour to have Edja here tonight showing her film because I feel as though we're back where, where the film began. Um, and I hope that you all enjoy it. I'm actually seeing it for the first time, so I'm really excited to see it. And afterwards, we're going to have a question and answer uh, session. And so get your questions ready, and then we'll have uh, some, some drinks. Would you like to say anything Edu, before uh, we begin? I have a short note before the film. Uh, thank you, Francis, for introducing me to Dina, because without Francis, this film has never been made, because I would never meet Jim and the rest of the crew. So uh, it's a magical encounter starting from here. So thank you very much for your lecture as well. <laughs> very inspiring. Thank, thank you, Edu. So enjoy your film. I, I guess I'd like to start off the, uh, talking a little bit about the process of actually making the film, because as I understand it, and also from the credits, you didn't do the post-production here in Paris. No. So, could you want to talk a little bit about the, the actual filming and the, the process of production? Okay. Uh, the filming started in 2016, in August, and we, we filmed Jim for 45 days, and we had 100 hours of footage <laughs> of Jim. Uh, and then I went back to Istanbul, not back, went forward. <laughs> <laughs> the other question I had was about your process of discovery. Did you, was that something that you did as you went along? Was it something that you sat down with Jim and learned the narrative in advance? Or how did that evolve? Of course, we discovered a lot of things uh, from the past because Jim is not really talkative when it's about him and uh, when the topic is himself and it's not easy to make him talk about himself, <laughs> that's one thing. Uh, but all the other people were very uh, happy to talk about him, so we discovered a lot about him during the journey, during the period of shooting. To me it's a, it's a homage to the 60s as much as it is to the man who facilitated so much of what was going on. I survived. <laughs> and survived. <laughs> um, was that your intention to, to make it about the 60s and, and 70s? Um, 60s and also about humanity and being a human on earth, and uh, which is of course 60s and ideas and everything. But I wanted to, we wanted to, I should say, because we were a team uh, and we wanted to um, show how life could be if uh, more people like Jim would exist on Earth. And I'm sure they are existing, we don't know them yet, but maybe we can discover them. But that was one of the intentions, yes. So it's not about Edinburgh, London, or this or that, but it's more about the philosophy of Jim, Jim's existence and everything.